Studio X1000 that's really this one my new beauty not cheap this is the Electron Machine Drum Swedish the German Axis Virus T Polar and also Axis T is the tester version some Logitech stuff Sensitive. Oh, Amiga was plastic speakers, biodynamic phones, compact four, Soundcraft mixer. Hi, I'm going to show you Hadrick apps. With uh, I'm going to start with the GUI and the prefs. We can start with a. You can see the fast buttons here, like save, edit, delete, clone. And you have the pens like move and cut. You have the time bar here. You can either show it in time or in bars, as you see here. And down here you have the tracks. You can have 256 virtual tracks. You can solo, you can mute the channel. And to the right, here you can have uh, stuff like the mixer and virtual keyboard and the software synthesizers. So you can see them as an icon. And there to the right you can see the tune, uh, the tune name like BPM and uh, other stuff. And down here I have a LED button and that's its pending jobs. So you can see different tasks uh, doing and when they are finished. Uh, and down there it just uh, shows what's, what it's do doing, like uh, if you're rendering something and down there you have the play buttons like uh, stop, play, pause, record, record with loop and this is the record button and the blue one picks up the window so you can choose if you want to record audio or MIDI and you have the level bars for the MIDI and for the audio and here you have some preps for the audio recording and some for the MIDI for example, you can choose to filter out some recordings, like you don't want to record program change, poly after touch, but later on that. And uh, let's continue to the pre preferences. So here you have the audio preferences. You can enable, disable the sound card. You can uh, choose the Aqua mode, and. Uh, Choose the direct sound card rather than default audio mode, it says in the readme. And uh, here's the output of the sound card, input, uh, if you want to record from the mixer, hardware, synthesizer, microphone or something. And uh, latency, I will show you that later, but uh, use the less as you can, uh, without stuttering. But if you record audio, you have to choose the biggest volume so it doesn't lose any sounds while recording uh, buffer size and let's go to MIDI you have eight MIDI ports on the first three I have my hardware synthesizers and on number two here I have the machine drum so you can see the question mark you can see I have uh, I can choose between four ESI Units that's my USB MIDI ports, so I can choose four hardware synthesizers. Uh, this is Envy, that is my sound card, it has a MIDI too, but I am not using it. And uh, this is just GUI prefs like screen mode, system for memory, and uh, lame. You can choose where you have the MP3 encoder, so that's it. So let's continue to the MIDI and automation. Up here, elements, you can create MIDI track, wave sample, or you can import. But let's create one. This is the notation window. Um, here you can put some notes. And uh, here you have the short and long notes. You can also st choose style, it's the same. And uh, some tools here, and fast buttons. But uh, up here, you can see some settings, you can uh, show and hide stuff, you can uh, see all controllers that are used, for example. 
change octaves, quantity size tripled, copy paste like normal programs. So I put the, I will hide the notes. I like the piano roll more. Oh yeah. I will make a kick drum. So I go in the settings window. The uh, first one is for software synthesizer, but I don't use that now. Dynamics, change gain and balance, tuning. Uh, choose name here, like kicks. And category drum. You can change grid raster. But here, I use the kick in my uh, second synthesizer, that is on port 1. I have it on the ch channel 9. So I put the kick here. So that's enough. That's a kick drum, you can see velocity here. Let's go out. And you can also copy paste if you like. You have clone, merge, instance. Duplicate. Uh, clone is the easiest one. If you change one, the first one, all the ones that the clone will uh, sound the same. So if you want to make an instance, uh, it will be an own copy. So you can change this and the other ones w wouldn't be affected. So let's create one more MIDI track. So I will make a bass, type bass here, and uh, it's my first synthesizer, port 0, channel number 4, and uh, I will choose a short note, I can choose to see the kick ghosted. can change the velocity here so first tones are low copy paste we can move it to arrow keys so uh, now I have uh, what kick and bass that's okay so now I will uh, show you how to record from the synthesizer instead of uh, doing it manually with the mouse. If you go down here, you bring it, this window up and you choose uh, MIDI. We are not going to record audio, just MIDI. And press on record and go and play and go to the synthesizer. Okay, so we are going to record automation too. We do the same, we just press record and play. That's enough. So let's see what we've done so far. Uh, on the first notation here, we made some notes, you can see them here. Uh, we recorded them by playing on the synthesizer, we can move them. And uh, if they aren't well played, you can uh, choose quantity size and uh, choose for example 1.8 or 160 notes. One eight. So that it will fix it, so it's better in sync. And uh, the other one here is just the uh, control data. Uh, the automation we did when we moved the buttons and sliders. So we can move that too, to the beginning. You can uh, uh, delete. 
you can uh, edit create you can do steps like this you can paint the changes how you want to so you can hear it that's that so let's continue with the audio recording I will uh, here is a preloaded tune with uh, some MIDI tracks and I will uh, record uh, the kick and the hi-hat and I bring up the EU control window choose audio to record instead of MIDI uh, record and play that's enough so now I uh, mute everything except the uh, melodies and bass and I do another recording so I remove every, every MIDI data so I you can see only the samples like that So now you have uh, two tracks with the kick and uh, the rest of the instruments. You can uh, go inside and uh, see how it looks like. This is the sample. You can select it. Uh, you have the toolbars here. You have cut, create, delete, zero. It's the normal stuff like in every program. You have up there in the menu. Uh, you can choose the stuff like edit, copy, mix, insert, uh, the normal stuff like in many other programs, operators like fader, normalize, truncate, uh, invert so you don't need an app like Audio Master, you can do it here you can export the wave sample it uh, doesn't go through any mixer or any effects instead uh, it just uh, saves its raw and um, you can uh, in the settings choose like dynamics so it uh, you can change the volume in the channel not the sample itself but in the channel so it doesn't the sample doesn't really get infected uh, and um, you can also choose a mixer channel like down here first second I will show you the mix later so uh, we can choose the mixer channel number one and for the bass and the melodies we can uh, choose mixer channel two so in that way we can choose different effects plugins over the sound uh, different EQs and uh, you can also uh, add effects uh, to the sample itself instead of going through the mixer uh, but then the sample will get affected like here you have an effects box and uh, you can create new effects here you have a lot you can choose from uh, let's say we choose the gain and uh, put on 200 percent and you can press on listen to check the sound before you apply but we're going to apply it so you see the sound gets this double sound so it's high in volume we can do it for the kick to uh, apply so, so so both are really high you can choose other effects etc and uh, export it the sound and uh, you can go to the mixer like this and um, here you can see you have uh, 16 different channels so this is not MIDI channels this is audio channels and you see 1 to 8 and here is 9 to 16 and uh, you can see the oscilloscope for every channel if you want on the first 
we choose the let's see the kick drum and on the second we choose the bass and other stuff um, so you can mute you can uh, press a single solo here you can ch change the volume here uh, the balance you can see the sounds playing let's play there so here the bolt and you can uh, hear the master out so you can put effects on number one uh, channel or on number two you can put uh, effects on uh, the input of the mixer or the master out if you put the master out then uh, everything will be affected by the plugins and here you have aux 0 to 3 so you can uh, use them on different channels share share them for example on the first channel we will change the free band EQ uh, you can lower the bass for example this is real time so you can hear the bass changing let's change the instruments So there is a lot of stuff you can do really on the mixer and uh, uh, you, you can see the oscilloscope You can uh, add more effects or visual plugins uh, You have a lot of here Ultra band compressor is a new plugin that is really good but it needs really a lot of uh, CPU time It looks like this Uh, three different bands. Uh, you can see the visual here. Uh, I use it. Uh, I will use it for uh, compressing my music mastering. And uh, otherwise, before I used uh, the dynamic filter. It's also good. You can put gain and uh, tube and low pass, high pass. You can change really much, and you can move the plugins up and down so it uh, changes the sound so that's on the mixer part it's not that much but uh, it's good if you know a little bit and now you can render the actual tune you go to the project and export as you can choose for example WAV, MP3 or some other format you can also export MIDI if you want to and we can choose to export Hi, right, this is uh, the software plugin I will show you now up here you can have the mixer like usual uh, the virtual keyboard and the actual software plugin this is the about window uh, this is the patches, you can load save uh, patches and banks uh, let's press on an instrument here you can see it's window uh, it looks like synthesizer you can change LFOs, DK, attack, phase, sustain, release you have four layers to make up here you have the mixer channels for the audio mixer so you can put uh, delay, reverbs and stuff uh, change EQ and uh, the next one is drum kits also there you can save and load drum kits samples if we go to the bass drum we can see it uses mixer channel number one so you can for example put a compressor it's really good for bass drums and you can change pitch, pan, decay and other settings uh, the next one is uh, the assign window. You can assign MIDI channels, not audio channels, it's MIDI channels. For, uh, when you make the music, the scores, like in here, this is the MIDI that I described before. 
So the cha the drums are on number 10 and the rest is on the other one channels. Next is config. We use uh, the whole sweeper synth on MIDI port number one. And uh, you can change tuning, volume, pitch band, how many voices you want to use and drums. The more you use, the better the sound and uh, the more CPU it uses. So let's see if you see the drums here. Everything is played uh, through the software plugin, so there is no MIDI uh, hardware synthesizer. Just put pure samples and computer as sound. Uh, same for bass here. Really cool. Uh, can I have lead filters? So let's. Here are uh, example of the music. I think it's a really nice uh, plugin. I myself uh, haven't used uh, any software plugin yet, but I'll move to that later. And um, Let's hear another tune you will remember. <laughs> so that's Bubble Bubble. So you know you can do really nice music, dance music, uh, like Commodore 64 music, uh, like Bubble Bubble. So uh, you're just using your fantasy. So I will show you the rest of the menus and stuff in uh, AG Rec. For example, this is my tune I worked with before. This is only hardware synthesizer. So I have a window called uh, Patch List. And uh, here you can make dumps of, uh, like backup of your sound settings on the synthesizer. Or total full banks. So you can see the patches here, which port, how many bytes, uh, what the instrument is called. You can change it to send to other synthesizers. Uh, you have the audio mixer, MIDI router, I haven't used it. Uh, project info, info about the projects, patch list, uh, transport control. BPMs and stuff. Uh, you have the plugins. Mixer I already shown you. You have RX plugins. You have balls and pipes. Probably most of you guys knows that program. You can uh, use its plugins. Beeper demo soft synth. Uh, the sweeper, virtual keyboard. And here, I haven't tried timing correction, but uh, you can do GUI benchmark. You can uh, use the system browser, it's for debugging, you can see more information about the tune, like views, a lot of info, elements you're using, MIDI tracks, wave samples, patches, plugins, effects you use, etc, etc, and for example you can delete a VAV from the tune. Uh, what more? I think it's all. This is my new track. It's called Kalovačko. It's a bear from Croatia. And uh, I haven't done music for two years, but I have uh, started with one. Just have some ideas. And this is uh, one and a half minute long. I have still uh, to fix a lot of stuff and continue. But it's only ideas, so let's begin. <laughs> Thank you. 
Abraço. Tchau, tchau.